I'm the tribal chief around here. Yeah, you see me, the tribal chief. That's right. What is good everybody? It's been a while since I've been in the wreck streets. Over a month that I've been away from the wreck, playing play now online, and let me tell you something. The wreck is worse than what it was when I left it a month ago. We were still able to get a few good games in, but in this game, you gotta stick until the end. If there's one full game you're gonna watch, make it this one. This is an excellent game that I think you will enjoy. This game has got everything. It's got the underdog mounting a comeback. It's got drama. It's got cinema. And we started the game attacking the basket and sharing the rock. And this guy, Mikey, one of one, ironically, is one of one million 2K players who are playing exactly the same way in point guard. And as we do to start the game, I like to share the rock, make sure that everybody's well fed, just to make sure we play a good team game. And Mikey, please do not take those types of shots and this guy right here this is bruce a longtime channel follower we've been on opposite sides of random wreck for a while now this was our first game together and bruce did absolutely the right thing right there gave me a wide open three and we continue sharing the ball we're up nine to three at this point and you gotta credit mikey he's got that l2 cancel down like a science hitting a wide open three but fortunately, the opposing team's paint defense is more leaky than my roof right now. The Philippines just went through a disastrous typhoon in recent days. I'll be doing a live stream in the near future to try and raise money for those affected. So stay tuned. I'm going to tackle some elite sauce that I've never shared before. So please try and stay tuned to the channel to make sure that you're up to date when I do launch that stream. It will be good as a community to help those affected by the recent typhoons in the philippines so stay tuned this guy right here is a certified old head but more importantly he's a certified bucket getter as well that big old body right there that big nasty booty backing you down and not only that he's also taking on the challenge defending me he sees that i have been the keys to the ignition of our offense and he wants to make sure well now two guys want to make sure that i'm not able to jump start the offense Dude right there made a bailout when he could have passed it to me before taking off, costing us that easy three-pointer. And fortunately, our defense is holding up. But like I said, Mikey one of one, even though he's not one of one, he does know how to use that Jamal Murray one of one. And now this is where our team gets into trouble. We're trying to force feed the paint a little bit too much. Our power forward right there forced a shot against two defenders. Unless you're going to be able to do a standing dunk, those are not smart shots. And this is giving the team an opportunity to attack the paint and attack the basket. So now our lead is gone. We almost gave up the lead right there. Fortunate enough to get the pass right there to hit an easy midi two. And man, let me tell you, these are the plays in Random Wreck that drive me crazy. There was no reason for that guy to leave his man that wide open. He did it for a second consecutive time and now we've completely lost the lead. Thankfully, we've been able to attack the paint a little bit, but if we're gonna win this game, we're gonna need to attack the perimeter. And here is Mikey one of one again, giving us the old left right sauce. And for whatever reason, this drives me crazy. This is the third time in the past five possessions, fourth time in the past six possessions that we've given up on some nonsense. And these are the backbreakers from being up six to being tied and now down eight to end the first quarter. Those are just the backbreakers and the avalanche that leads from one bad possession to another. But thankfully, Mikey one of one gives us an opportunity with that horrendous shot. But unfortunately, the old head got the offensive rebound. And what's more important here is that we are missing wide open shots, turning the ball over. Nothing on defense is difficult for the opposing team. For whatever reason, once again, he left that guy wide open in the wing and I had to call a timeout to try and break this momentum. But things are not going our way. Once again, this certified old head just continues to hit us with that nasty post fade. He's been excellent trying to measure how the defense responds to his post ups. But I try to give a little back, you know, give a little alley-oop right there. But our bigs have no answers for the old head. 
And I was telling myself, man, I got to step it up. I've been trying to be a good point guard for all my random rec games. A little bit too passive to start the game. But here I am taking it to the basket strong, showing that strength, baby. But unfortunately, our defense has been horrendous. More importantly, we're turning the ball over and missing open shots, leading to easy leakouts. And I'm trying my best in these possessions to keep us really close. Keep us in that 10-point range where anything can happen. What you know? You might hit back-to-back -back threes. You want to make sure that players are playing with pressure and not as free as they are. Take a look at this guy right here. He got away with a few of these in, court, in the first quarter, the second quarter, but that was a little bit too ambitious. And this is what I'm saying, man. Bad shots, turnovers lead to easy baskets. So the shot quality doesn't just affect your field goal percentage, but it affects the team's ability to stay disciplined and be there on defense. Now let me tell you something, man. It is not looking good. Take a look at this offensive possession by our opponents right here. That wasn't difficult. That was super simple. And yet, we let them dudes go straight to the paint. And once people got that double-digit lead, they now start front-running and try clip-hunting right there. That was a tough shot. But you gotta keep in mind, that wasn't a great shot. So I here, I just wanna make sure I stay disciplined. I'm feeding the rock to our big, making sure he still gets his. Feeding the rock to Bruce to make sure that we keep engaged. And now from a 17 point lead, it's down to 12 and Bruce brings it down to 10, a couple of minutes into the third quarter. Now our power forward wasn't necessarily doing the best job guarding this old head so I had to give a little double right there. Unfortunately, I didn't get back on time, was stuck in no man's land. That was on me, that was on me. So we try and attack the old head right here and guess what? He reach, I teach, easy pull up. The Donovan Mitchell pull up, deceptively smooth but it might get you into trouble every now and then. And now you see the old head man stressing out a little bit, forcing things a little bit too much. And let me tell you, man, Bruce right here, he was taking some ridiculous under goal stabs. Playing similar to Drew Holiday, who's in that dunker spot. I love the way he cut the entire game and presented himself for easy baskets. And now that we're within striking distance, a 12-point lead, I want to make sure we end the quarter going into it a little bit close and we go to the chef special yes sir the kevin cruz chef special just to make sure we put a little flavor out there but take a look at how clever this dude is just using pace just using the right timing get a nice scoop layup right there and what i tell you about bruce man bruce is sneaky with those little dinkers and dumpers and those nice reverse layups great move by our opponents right there we're starting the fourth quarter down by 12. The opposing team has now decided they wanted to apply pressure. Me and my power forward right here with a nice two-man game. And we go skip to Malu with a nice little scoop layup right there to bring it down to 10. And the one thing I will say about this old head is he can be a bit too one-dimensional. The power forward caught on to how he was playing the post, decided to stick and not dis to disengage a little bit. And from that bad shot, we get a wide open three. Now we're only down 7 points and this is a nice 45 degree cut by our power forward. Could have given it up to the corner for an easy 3. Makes the nice reverse layup nonetheless. But here's the thing. On defense, the old head is now wise to the power forward being, being hip to the post game. So now he's going back door for a few easy dunks. And this right here is some nice tic-tac-toe. Doesn't that remind you of the Warriors offense? Just nice quick passes. And just like that, we're down by just two with three minutes left, putting the fear of God into the hearts of the opposing team. This is where you want to be. We were down by as much as 17 points in this game, but now we're only down four and things have not necessarily been pretty, but sometimes it doesn't need to be. Get that win no matter how it happens. And this is where I could have felt that the game might have swung. I was open for a wide open three and instead we gave it to our center who just got blocked. Not gonna lie, you saw me turn on the microphone right there. I was a little bit upset. If we got that three, we would have applied pressure against the opposing team. But never mind. They're giving up the ball left and right. And what is this, man? The AI center open for a three? His first three of the game? We got ourselves a lead, baby. 
And one thing I noticed, and I start started calling this out in the fourth quarter, if the center is bringing the ball down, better get ready for that backdoor cut. And again, the old head got us with the same backdoor play. Our power forward is playing a little bit too high. And now it's prison rules, man. The old head is trying to bump me around, trying to shove me into the deep waters. I tried to give him a little some of that backdoor action. Our power forward could have kicked it out to Bruce for that wide open three at the top of the three point line. Unfortunately, he missed it, forced up a bad shot. Old head right here with a nice pin layup. And I gotta tell you, man, he is super tough. That was a tough move. Great move by the guy right there. Now we're down three, a minute and a half to go. I know they're going full court, so I give him that left stick crossover. Pull up for that easy three. Like I said, man, that Kyrie Irving base, so smooth. Plants your feet really quick. And with that quick release, got me that nice wide open three. And then I was classing my ass cheeks when that shot went up. That was bad defense, over helping, leading to a wide open three. And here I'm just trying to attack. I saw Bruce cut. But they got there at the right time to take that away. And like I said to the old head man, you reach. I teach how to force him into that one. And let's give it to Big Roman Reigns. I'm the tribal chief around here. Yeah, you see me. The tribal chief. That's right. Every time you hit a clutch shot, you gotta puff your chest out just a little bit. That was a great move right there to give him a nice left stick crossover. This would have been the game. Unfortunately, Bruce played the right defense. I don't know why they call that defensive foul right there, but I'm glad we weren't in the penalty anyway. Now I was telling the guys, man, this is it. We just need one stop. Watch for those backdoor cuts. No, no, no. You ain't backdooring me, baby. Let's go. That was great defense right there. Anticipate. Oh, but what is our power forward doing? Leaving the leading scorer of the game alone for an easy three pointer. That set us back, man. But let me tell you something, I was not losing this game. I played rec 3 straight R's today, a lot of horrible teammates, a lot of bad losses. I'm not losing this game. And let me tell you something, you know what? I'm the tribal chief around here, yeah, you see me, the tribal chief. That's right. Now we just need one stop, 8.1 seconds to go. Read that backdoor play, I helped on that cut right there. This should be an easy hands up defense they would have missed, but instead we got the foul. I'm just hoping and I'm just praying that this center cannot hit free throws. And yes, sir, we got one of one to not go down. Let's hope for another one, but he swishes this one. Excellent timing. Call a timeout. What did I say, man? What did I say? I'm not losing this game, baby. Let's go. But before we end the video, let's review the footage right here. I tried to bring my man to the empty side of the floor, which is to the left side. But take a look at this spot finder juke. And let's hear it one more time, Roman Reigns. Let's hear it. I'm the tribal chief around here. Yeah, you see me, the tribal chief. That's right. So there you have it, man. One of my last games in the rec because honestly, and I'll discuss this in a separate video, the mode has a lot of problems. There's a ton of potential. Right now, it's miserable playing in the rec. Other than this game, most of my games, it's either I'm winning by 20 or I'm down by 30. And it is not fun. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.